Hello, you're watching Base Shade Highlight, a simple guide to painting miniatures. In this video, I'm going to paint Black Widow from Marvel United. I've already primed her black with a white Zenithal highlight, so let's get right to it. I'm starting with a base coat of the skin tone. I've chosen a dark blue as the base color of her jumpsuit. With the blue glow from her suit and batons, it will provide better shadows as opposed to a black or dark gray. I'll speed things up for the sake of time. You'll notice the top half of her suit gets a little light on the first coat. This was the result of some water on my wet palette running into the paint and thinning out the color. I remedy that problem by mixing in some dark gray. In the end, the color turned out alright, and I move on to highlighting the face. I try to focus on her cheekbones and forehead, which receive the most light. With the hair, red and orange are both very translucent, so I start with violet and build up the color from there. With all that surface area, I really get to slop the paint on there. I don't know about you, but I find this fun and therapeutic to watch. For that reason, I couldn't cut the footage, but I will fast forward it. As weird as it looks right now, you just gotta trust the process. I continue building up to her hair color with dark red. I can't just apply it in the shadows because orange is coming next, and you'll be able to see through it to any uneven areas. This helps keep the final color smooth. Another speed boost! Now we've arrived at the orange. With this coat, I'm only aiming for the top side of her hair and leaving the recesses and bottom side shaded red. This orange does require me to apply two or three coats. Her character art in the game has a halo reflection around the top of her head. I'll start to paint that now. To do that, I'll undercoat with a lighter color and then reapply the orange. Then 
The first hair highlight looks nearly the same color as her skin. Unintentional, but I'll change it shortly. I chicken out and decide to paint over her white halo with this light orange as well. Here, I'm adding the orange wash with this concoction. Skeleton Bone is a great color to highlight red hair. While I've still got this red on my palette, I'll use it for her emblems, knees, and Avengers logo. Let's give those belt pouches some color. Nothing exciting here, just plain old dark gray. The hair still looks too blobby to me. I want to push the highlights even further to help visualize strands of hair. These get a clean base coat so I can paint them later on. The base gets painted my standard dark gray. Now I'm giving the belt a quick highlight.
If her missing eyebrows have been bothering you, breathe a sigh of relief. I'll give them the same treatment as her hair, except the shadows won't need the deep violet red. However, I will use it for her lipstick. For the batons, I'm wet blending these two colors from opposite ends, and then I'll highlight. Let's give her bracelets some color. Outlining the eyes is a small detail, but it really helps define them and improve the overall look of the model. The wash seeps into the crevices of the eye, and when it's dry, I touch up the inside with ivory again. I'll also use it to help highlight this glow effect. Here I'm doing some blending of the skin tones. Hey big guy, sun's getting real low. Natasha's eyes get their signature green color. I start with two circles of dark green. Then paint a lighter green C or backwards J. and then an even lighter green on the bottom half of that C. Two pupils and a white dot to finish it off. I wet blend the same blue and ivory from the batons into these lines in her suit. I'm doing a couple of touch-ups on the highlighting of the belt and pouches.
Now I'll highlight the red on her logo, belt, and knees. This mix will make up the first highlight for her jumpsuit. And this will be the final highlight. Now I shade the base with this wash. Add a splash of color with this orange from her hair. and give it a quick dry brushing. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Check out the website in the description down below for a list of all the paints I use and recommend. Some people have been asking about color conversions between different brands of paint. I've added a few links to the charts that I found useful. Here she is complete. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.